Hello friends, it's Sunday and it's time to check in on my progress for the week. It's been a weird one with some sad aspects. So I warn you in advance, I did receive some sad news about my cat and that is very much in there. I wish that every vlog could just be happy and fun, but hey, this is real life, right? And that's also kind of the point. But I won't delay further. Here's my third week of NaNoWriMo writing. So his partner goes, okay, if you can manage waking up the guy, do it. So the guy goes, he goes, hey buddy! While doing that, the guy flipped on his back. Right in front of him, he had a big spot of blood everywhere on his shirt. Ralph is at the vet today. We're getting a profile done. He's lost some weight. Little guy. Baby. Hello friends, it's Monday. It's the first time I am managing to sit down and vlog today. It's been a bit of a busy Monday. It feels like Friday. Uh, all the days are blending together with the way my month has been. We took Ralphie, my cat, to the vet and you know, dropped an investment on him, which is what usually happens, but it's well worth it. <laughs> He's got kidney disease and a heart condition. He's 17 years old, so we've uh, got him some fluids and we're doing a blood panel and stuff like that, but he's He's got some good energy after coming back. He was not very happy to be at the vet, but he behaves super well. He just goes kind of like still and lets them do what they're gonna do until they're done. And luckily our vet is just like a six minute walk away, so that is good. It's 7.15 p.m. now. I put off my usual sprinting, which generally goes from 5 to 7-ish, sometimes 5 to 6, depending on how fast we are. Uh, I moved it to 8 because we've got our midway through the month right in with the Montreal group. Very exciting. I'm going to hit midway through my draft tonight, for sure. I didn't write that much last night because I was out ghost hunting. <laughs> so I've got a bit extra to do tonight, which is good because we'll be on probably for a couple hours. I have no doubt that I'll probably hit like 2,500 or 3K words, something like that. I'm very much looking forward to it. And that's it for now. I'm gonna go reread so that I don't spend any of my sprint time rereading. And not too far back, just, you know, where I'm at. <laughs> uh, do a bit of rereading prepare and then I'll be ready to go for eight o'clock. Six minutes to go. I look totally different now. I had to um, get dressed up because I remembered that we are supposed to dress nice since it's a celebration and normally we get to meet, well, not me, <laughs> since I haven't participated pre-pandemic, but normally it's hosted in a fancy estate. So I'm dressing as if that's where the event is, even though it's just in my room. <laughs> so I'm all dressed up now. I've got my hot toddy and I'm ready to write 2,500 to 3,000 words. Also, I'm probably not gonna film our actual like meeting properly because I tried setting this camera up all over the room and it just looked stupid. So, sorry, I'm, I'm sure you're not crying about the missed opportunity. <laughs> I'll check in when I'm done or on my break or something like that and uh, good luck to me. Tired? So tired! <laughs> More tired than I thought I would be. I've got little Ralphie here, very calm since his vet visit, doing all right, sleepy. It's 11.30 at night. I've been here since 
<laughs> brain dies. Since 8 o'clock, I think we, we met up. Yeah, I got 2,620 words in, which I was expecting a bit more. Well, like at least 400 more because I wanted to hit 25,000. I really thought I would, but I guess because I didn't write so much yesterday, <laughs> it took me back a little bit. So I'm at 24,614. So mid, almost at the midpoint, it's fine. I could sit up and write another 400 words, but I just, I need to go to bed. I really need to go to bed. It was a fun get together though. We have a really awesome Montreal group. I'm speaking too loudly for him. He doesn't like it. It's bedtime. But yeah, I was drinking <laughs> tea with brandy in it and it's just so calming and, and warm. I've been ready to go to bed for a little while now. But the words I got were good. I like them. We did a dramatic reading, which was a ton of fun. <laughs> All right, off to bed now and I will be back at it tomorrow, of course. forgot to film it all today. Um, we got our call back about Ralph this morning and while not unexpected it was tough news. He's been battling kidney disease and heart disease for just over three years now and so he is in the final stages of renal failure which is terrible. Um, Anyone who knows Ralph has completely fallen in love with him. He's, I know everyone will say this about their own pet and, and it's true, but he's a very, very, very special cat. He's one of the most loving cats I've ever met. And I've heard that from a lot of people. When I used to run Airbnb, our reviews were pretty much only about Ralph. <laughs> uh, he's been, one of the few constants in my life over a turbulent decade and it really is going to be the end of an era when he does pass on. So what we're doing is giving him some medication. We don't want to overdo it and stress him out in the end. We want to find that balance of medicating him, keeping him comfy and happy and not getting worse, but not pushing him on longer than he wants to be here. So that's where we're at. I'm canceling a lot of things just so that I don't have to go out because one thing is for certain, I have to be with him right up until the end. I'm not going out of the apartment unless I absolutely have to because I would never forgive myself if I was not there. All of that being said, I still wrote today. I did my word count. I had to get my head out of this place it's in for a little bit. So I did that and now I'm finished. And I think I'm just going to, well, I've, I've got to get Ralph to eat a little bit more food. He's got a phosphorus supplement that he needs to get in him. And then I'm going to read uh, and relax and then head to bed. It's a slow melancholy day. It's been kind of a slow melancholy month with its highs and its lows. And that's where I'm at on this Tuesday. So I'm on my lunch and I just realized that I was supposed to open this on the 15th and I haven't yet. So it's time to open it up. Thank you, Scarlett, for the reminder in our Facebook group. I should have opened this at our Midway Point writing. But here we are, right here, right now, on cute, cute little paper. And what else do we have? Oh, okay. I was wondering if we would get these again. They are um, these little writer cards. We had one last year. So I got, oh no, I got killed a hero. If your hero died right now, what would happen next? Who would keep up the mission? It's a good thought exercise. I'm going to be thinking about that tonight. So there are some exercise suggestions here. 
Um, it's almost never a good idea to kill your hero in the middle of your story. But sometimes it's a great idea. Might this be one of those times? It, you know, side note, I had this story concept ages ago, which I won't share because I still might do it, but it involved like bringing the reader through this long introduction where you think that the story is one thing and then completely turning it upside down like halfway through the book. So I, I agree that this could be good. <laughs> if your hero died right now, who would take over her function? What would her opponents do next? What would her friends and family do? Imagining the hero dead is a great way to find out how indispensable she is. Alternately, if everyone wrongly believed your hero was dead, what would she suddenly be free to do? So we have these exercises. Write a eulogy for your hero from another character's point of view. Could that character say any of those things while the hero is alive? Jot down your character's last will and testament. Who would get her stuff? Would she want to be buried? And where? What would her tombstone read? As someone who's part of the death positive community, I think about this stuff way too often already. Consider options short of literal death. Prison, coma, exile, alien stasis. Anything that takes your hero out of action can work. So, interestingly enough, my hero is actually kind of a passive hero in the first book, because she's, I, I guess, like a reluctant hero. Although... She wants to be involved, but she doesn't really have a lot of skills to be involved yet. She's 14 years old, and there are other 14-year-olds who are more confident than her around. So, sadly, <laughs> some things would just keep going on without her, I think. But in the larger picture of the story, it would be a big deal. But I can't tell you any more about that. So, that's where we're at today. On Ralph Watch, he had some food yesterday. We made sure he ate. I fed it to him in a syringe to get him his phosphorus and some more potassium because he's super, super low on that. Um, and then he had a great sleep, curled up like right with his face in my face all night. And it was so, so lovely. So I slept in a bit and started work a little bit later because of it. Uh, luckily, my schedule is a little bit flexible. <laughs> And now he's just chilling out on my bed. I just got him some more food and we're gonna give him some fluids soon. I'm very, very glad that I'm working from home these days because this would have been impossible if I weren't. Working at home is a really important option for people, I think, and I'm thankful for it. So I just started and then called off a sprint because I realized I didn't do my little video before I started sprinting. <laughs> no one else is here, so it's no big deal. I'm super excited because my Patreon grew by one person. I know it's not like, it's not huge yet. There's two people, but it means a lot to me. So that's kind of cool. And I just can't wait for it to grow more and have more people join in, maybe at higher levels because I have some rewards that I'm really anxious to start creating and getting ready and I'm not really gonna put much time into it until there are people to receive those rewards. So that's gonna be cool when the time comes. Starting at 26,584 words tonight, it's uh, 510. I usually can get my word count out in about an hour these days. So gonna do that and have my usual even. Actually, no, I'm not gonna have my usual evening. I have assigned myself a project I'm going to my hometown again in January to visit, so I'm bringing some Christmas presents. And I had an idea for some presents for a group of people, and it involves art, so I'm going to be doing some art this evening. Alright, back to the sprint. Can't procrastinate anymore. 1,794 for the day. It was a good session. I'm getting to... Uh, I'm on page 58 of my book, so I'm getting up to that point now where I have to go back and do a little bit more re-planning since I started pantsing it a little bit, especially with this one B plot line, and it really has the potential to mess up my entire writing flow. So it's really like getting to that point. I keep avoiding it and avoiding it as I make these little changes, and I'm like, okay, now I have to go back. I have to sit down and I have to go back and update some things and replot out the last like I think I have maybe six more chapters to go so I have to replot those and once I reset with the new ideas I've thrown into the story it should be okay moving forward. My total count is at 28,378 and I'm doing really well for site badges. I don't know if anyone else really cares about those much but 
I think they're fun. I'd planned to get all of them this year, but I messed up because I have not hit, uh, what do they call it? Par. I have not hit par every day, which is 1,667 words per day because I've had down days where I couldn't do that, which is fine. I think that would be probably the hardest goal to reach, but I'm going to next year. Next year I'm going to get all the badges. So far I only have five to go and I think I'm going to finish up with only one missing, which is that par one. I know it doesn't really mean anything, but it's, I, I really like the NaNoWriMo website and this is a part of it that I like. <laughs> Anyhow, I have a art project to go work on and some of that re-plotting. So I'm gonna go and do that and feed Ralphie some more because that's important. Good evening. Do excuse the mega mess hair. I am a mega mess right now. I have been doing the weirdest things, like just random mistakes, like I went to do my laundry today and I didn't even realize I put a bunch of stuff in the like delicates bag that doesn't go in there. I'm, I'm in the twilight zone because of Ralphie right now and I forgot to film before I started sprinting, but I did sprint tonight. I did how many? Four? I think I did four sprints. Yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> I got uh, 2,285 words in. I was going to stop at 1,700, which was just over my limit for the day. Well, not limit, but ideal count for the day. But I was right in a scene that I just wanted to finish up, so I did a bit more. And now I'm predicted to finish NaNoWriMo on the 29th, which is not going to happen because I always go up to the very last day. But that's where we're at. It's going well. Ralph is still in his holding pattern. Let's see if I can excuse the messy room. He unfortunately had a bit of an accident last night, so I had to clean the bedding. That's where we are with the illness. Still waiting on potassium, and we're gonna try and get some other stuff that he needs. They recommended some hospitalization, but it really is that point where it's like, is that going to be good for his remaining quality of life and how much more time is that going to buy him? I hate this stuff. I hate it so much. I really hate it. Anyhow, that is the end of the evening since I'm only doing one video today. Did my writing going into the weekend and I've decided to cancel the live stream for Saturday. I just don't have the social energy to host something like that for two hours and I'm probably going to cancel my Friday evening thing as well which sucks but I clearly can't function properly <laughs> outside of doing my own sort of internal little things. I can't even say that I look forward to this being over because that means something terrible. I guess that's just, I, I guess I just sit with it. I just live with it for now gonna go work on my art again, do some reading, and head to bed. Ralphie, you tired? <laughs> he always loves to sleep hanging off of the bed like this. And I have to go rescue him before he just falls. This was before he was sick too. <laughs> Ralph. Good morning, it's Saturday. I didn't vlog yesterday, I just decided to give myself a little bit of time off. I've been doing that in a few ways. I didn't do my creative collaboration last night, which sucks, but I, I really needed it and I just like zoned out and played Sims and tried to do things with my imagination. I wrote about 1200 words which was like 400 off of my goal, but usually on Fridays I only get in like three or 400 words, so still a bit better. Ralph got his potassium, which we needed, so I'm able to give him that now, which is nice. He's uh, over there behind me, you can see. Just curled up on the bed, that's where he is most of the time. And we're having a couple of his friends over to visit. I've told people that they can come by, so. We're going to have a few visits probably over the next couple weeks, stuff like that. 
Today I cancelled my live stream. Sorry if you showed up and I was not there. I tried to announce in as many places as I could. But I just, I am not in a state right now where I can host something. It's already a little bit difficult for me to do that with like, I'm, I'm very introverted naturally, so it's already a bit difficult, and just with this, I'm having anxiety about even having my close friends over, so it's a lot, and uh, thank you, thank you for, uh, thank you for allowing me this time to be a little bit off of my schedule, I'm sure everyone here understands. Anyhow, I guess I will check back in when I do writing later, whenever that is, and I'll do some video editing today and just try to take it easy this weekend. End of the day check-in. We've been having visitors over to see Ralphie and today really went by in a haze. I didn't wake up till around 5, I felt like. Um, I'm gonna have to get it together to edit this video tonight slash tomorrow whenever I start. <laughs> Uh, should be interesting, but I'm feeling a strange kind of positivity with everything that's going on after good talks with friends and family and sort of a reconnection to the death positive community, which I feel very strongly about. Helping your pet to go peacefully is really the best gift that anyone can give to their animal companion in the end and Ralph is far less broken up about it than I am or my mom is or anyone who cares about him. He's had a super wonderful life, given a lot, received a lot, and whether we want it to or not, <laughs> life does go on. Good night. And that's where we're at. When I was thinking last week that this November is a really transformative round of writing, that's only increased in the past week. I haven't had to write through a deep sadness in a really long time, actually, and it's interesting learning how to truly lean on creativity again. Writing, even when I'm only getting in four or five hundred words a day, is the only true escape that I get in these stressful days where in-home care has become pretty much a full-time job, really. <laughs> Ralph's got an alarm going off pretty regularly through a 12-hour window of the day for fluids or hand feeding or a supplement. And I know that seems like a lot to prop him up, but we are still being objective and keeping a close watch on him, trying not to get too deep into that sort of human feeling when you disappear into yourself and are not considering your pet as much. So we're playing it day by day to ensure that he does not go on too long to a point where we're just keeping him alive for our benefit, which is not a good thing. Anyhow, I'm sure you've had more than enough of me and my moody week. For stats, this week I wrote 10,967 words, and I'm sitting at 32,409 for the entire month. That's 64.8% complete. My goal for the week ahead is to get my own mind in a bit more of a positive place, even with what's going on, get writing in every day, which amazingly I have yet to fail at, and, well, wrap up NaNoWriMo. I can't believe it's that time already. Now, where streams are concerned, I am going to tentatively say we'll be doing sprints again this Saturday the 27th from 1 to 3 p.m. Eastern on YouTube, but please check my socials. I'll post on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram if I'm canceling. Either way, I highly recommend that you join my Discord. The link is below, and I can guarantee that I will be writing on there multiple times throughout the week. And I've got the 29th and 30th off as well to finish my writing, so this weekend of the 27th should be a really big writing weekend across all of my platforms. Thanks as always for watching, supporting me. If you enjoyed today's video, please give it a like. If you didn't, you are of course free to give it a dislike. I don't mind. If you're not subscribed, 
please subscribe and hit the bell button so you actually get notified when I post new videos. Also, leave a comment down below to let me know how your November is going. Are you on track to finish next week? Or are you gonna fall a bit short? How are you feeling about that? And last but not least, I hope that you are having a day that is just as wonderful as you are. Bye.